What's going on guys, David J. Woodbury here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about Card. It's a one page site builder. I have done other trainings on Card on my channel, so you can feel free to go back and check those out. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some other things with Card. And one of those things right now is gonna be the reCAPTCHA. And um, if you're familiar with the reCAPTCHA, it just kind of prevents spam. This is a, a landing page that I'm working on here. And inside of the email form here, what, what you'll get sometimes are, are spammers that'll come through and this just secures your, your site. So I'm gonna show you how to get that set up. And then also a way to start collecting leads using card without paying for a, you know an email service. So if you guys are just starting out out there, um, you know, personally, I get a lot of messages from people that are just starting online, uh, mostly because of the trainings and stuff that I do. So a lot of the new people that are coming online, uh, maybe just don't have the budget or whatever to start you know, uh, with an email service or click funnels or something like that. So this is a really good option for you. And I, I actually still use card myself. You know, I, I run a successful affiliate business, but I still use card for several pages that I do. Um, this one right here is, is one example. And I'll talk more about these pages. I'm going to show you at the end of the video because um, I think you guys will like, like what I'm going to offer. So um, basically what I'm going to show you real quick is how to, how to collect leads and set up your reCAPTCHA and just kind of go over some things on this page here. These pages look really, really nice. They're, you know, super professional looking and super easy to build. Um, this is that page uh, in the editor. So, you know, I can click on things and, and uh, edit, you know, I can adjust the size there. But like I said, I have other trainings on card on my channel, so you can check those out. Uh, one feature I do like about card are the, you know, simple timers you can throw up. They look really clean. Um, you can just come in here and set the date and time and then go ahead and let it run. Um, this is what it looks like running. So you'll see right down here, you know, the countdown is going down. Three days left in this sale. And you'll notice also I have my I have my share buttons over here and I use a site called Add This. Um, it's a you can use it for free and put up these uh, you know, these share buttons on your site. And I'll, I'll go over that in another video, but not today. So jumping back over to the editor, if I go ahead and click on this form, you'll notice I have it set up as a sign up form, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one so I can show you how you could uh, collect leads or, or, you know, collect payments on a page like this without having, you know, click funnels or get response or a, an email client or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and hit this plus sign and we wanna add a form in here. Um, you'll notice that it looks a little bit goofy right now, but we'll go ahead and fix that in just a minute. Um, what we want to do is over here in the type. So if you don't have an email service, we're going to go ahead and do custom because this is going to allow you to just get an email sent to you personally from this opt-in form. So, you know, we can, we have some other options here. So if they entered their email, they could just be sent to a URL, um, but we want to send an email. And for this example would just be like your mail at your domain.com so this is your email uh, right here and you can put a subject template so you could do like regarding uh, card or we'll just do um, flash sale page just as an example so you know you can set this up to where if somebody opts in it's going to automatically um, send the email straight to your personal email address. So you put in your personal email address here and then it'll come through with this subject line so you can create something that'll uh, stand out to you so you'll know that it came from whatever site it came from. And then also the body template. So you could put in like uh, ebook request, uh, whoops, you know, whatever you wanted to do, uh, ebook download, etc. You know, whatever you wanted to put in there just so you get that same email template every time somebody puts that in. Um, they won't see that unless you reply and then leave that in there. So um, you'll see this on your end, but they won't see anything like that. So you could literally get this email and then just uh, copy their email address and send an email back. Uh, with the ebook or whatever you want to do, um, or if you had like a form on a page like this to where you were providing a service or something like a contact me, um, you could do it this way and just have them go right to your right to your email. And then if you come down here, we can display a message after they successfully enter their email and submit, or we can send them to a URL. Uh, so for for this example, you know, if you had a landing page, if you had, if you were doing affiliate marketing and you had a product that you were promoting and you just wanted to collect a lead before the affiliate product, this is a really good example of something you could do on 
uh, Facebook, for example, with ads without, you know, getting in trouble for promoting affiliate links on Facebook. Um, I see a lot of new affiliates doing that still and getting their ad accounts shut down. So um, really easy way to create a landing page and put an opt-in form and then forward straight to your affiliate link after they opt in. In the meantime, you do get that email straight from them also. Um, and like I said, they'll just get forwarded straight off to the to the domain or thank you page, whatever you decide to do here. Um, and they won't know anything, but you'll get that email with this info on it. So you could make this uh, and then you could just save their email, um, put it in a CSV file on your folder or on your computer and uh, just go ahead and start collecting those emails, put them in your contacts. And uh, once you get an email client, you can go ahead and, and you know, put your contacts on there. Uh, following the legal ways of doing that and all that. Um, but you can also, on failure, redirect to a URL or display a message. So, you know, if uh, display a message on failure, something went wrong, please try again. And then the reCAPTCHA here, this is another thing I wanted to talk about. So this is this is really easy to set up. So all you need to do is, I'll, and I'll put a link to uh, the reCAPTCHA page here uh, down in the description below. Um, but what you need to do is hit this plus key on your admin panel and just put in your domain um, or name, your label. Uh, you can put a .com, whatever. And then you want to enter your domain.com. So domain.com and hit enter and then it'll show up there. I'll go ahead and delete that. And then you want to make sure that uh, reCAPTCHA V2 is selected. And we want the invisible, invisible reCAPTCHA badge here. Uh, for this example, and then any other emails you want to add on here, um, accept the terms and then submit. And then what you'll get is uh, a site key and a secret key here to enter, uh, which looks, you know, like these right here. Um, so that is how you do that. And then what you can also do is set up um, the label. So right here inside of the field, we could put email and we want it to be email type. And we don't want it to be optional, we want that to be mandatory for them to enter an email. And then we can go ahead and come over to the button. So submit, we can you know relabel this to buy or download or next. And then you can put in some, some of those, etc. Um, We'll just do that for now. And then on click, you can have default, which would automatically, you know, take them to the uh, affiliate page you have them forwarded to, or the thank you page, whatever that was. Or you can have them in between that process require a Stripe payment. So if you wanted to have them enter their email address, in the meantime, in the background, that email that we preset up gets sent to you. And then they get presented with a, a Stripe payment page where they can pay for a product and um, you know buy something from you. So what I like to do is do this custom price thing here and then you can just create the name of the product and then the description. And um, so we got variables or fixed. So fixed is just gonna be for this example, this would just be like a, a, a course or an ebook or something like that or uh, something that didn't have a variable, which would be like a small, medium, large, like on a shirt or different, different um, aspects of the product. And then you can just change, you know, the, the price here, currency, and then the API keys down here. I do have another video on card uh, on my channel. Go ahead and check those out. That actually shows you how to set up your API key in Stripe. Um, so go ahead and check that out. And then I always require the billing address just so I have that on file. Um, and then, and then you are set. Once you uh, publish this, you are good to go. Um, you have a form that is secure with the reCAPTCHA. You know, like I showed you right here, we'll have the reCAPTCHA on here. And then, you know, how, however you decide to do this, whether you take a payment or give it away for free, um, you'll have that opt-in form ready to go, and you don't have to have an email service. Pretty cool. So you could, um, you know, if you had just a business where you had a contact form for people to get a hold of you for services, you could set this up to get um, to get an email. You know, you could even have it regarding consulting form on site, and then uh, request for info. You know, 
and you could just reply back to that customer and then obviously remove this information from your email or start a new email, email that client and then uh, you know follow up with them from there. So a really super easy way to go ahead and get set up uh, with a page without needing uh, an email service or an expensive landing page builder. Um, Card is really cool. It is, uh, I believe it's $99 per year and it, they give you 100 websites to build. Um, you can use their their domains so this is one of them dot card dot co and then another one dot crd dot co so this is another uh, page that i built with card right here this is like a little course um, this is an affiliate marketing course here and um, it's got a few really good products in here with it so i built this page and then obviously another timer um, and then down here with a button so you know gives them if they keep scrolling past here um, they keep wondering if they're gonna purchase it or not and then I have a button set up to where if they click that it just shoots them right back up to the opt-in form to, to purchase um, and then this takes them to a stripe page so this is the back end of this one and so as you can put like these this is a control so you can add those right up here so this is a control um, and what I've done with this button down at the bottom here this button right here you'll notice that the URL it goes to is sign up which is what I've turned this control page into so you can can you can put these um, controls in and then give it a label like sign up and what will happen is when I click this button it'll take me back up to sign up so that is how that works pretty cool a lot of different customized things on on card that you would never really think about doing like on wordpress or or, or in other platforms like that card is is up there with as far as like layouts and, and you know making things look really nice as far as funnels go um, they're right up there with uh, ClickFunnels in my personal opinion. ClickFunnels is an awesome platform. I, I use other platforms besides ClickFunnels. I did have an account that I abandoned at one point just because um, I found some other platforms that do, that do, uh, that work out better for me. Um, so yeah, and this is one of them. So go ahead and check that your free trial out down in the description. I'll leave a, a link for a free trial. And if you want to take advantage of these, um, these courses I have right here, I've got um, I've got this one here. It's deal closing secrets and then I've got the affiliate marketing mastery and then I've also got uh, boost online sales in less than seven days. So this is another page that I built and so what I'm going to do is if you want to go ahead and grab card or if you already have a card account, I'm going to give you guys these for for free if you guys go ahead and use my affiliate link to sign up for card and then I can go ahead and give you the resale licenses to these uh, products here. So I'm going to do that. Um, for free just go ahead and sign up for card using my link down below and I'll go ahead and what I can actually do is just transfer these sites over to another card user um, similar to click funnels you know you can transfer uh, sites over to other users so what I'll do is uh, once you sign up um, I'll get a hold of you or you get a hold of me I'll put an email down in the description and we can go from there I'll just transfer you all three sites all three products and you guys can get set up from there and um, all you would need to do after you got the site um, is, and before I transfer them over, what I'll do is put a, put a little note here that says opt-in form goes here. And what I could do is just leave some of this stuff blank so you can just fill in your own information. And none of my personal information will be in here. That way you can just kind of uh, set this up for your own personal business as long as you know as well as all these little uh, these little footers and stuff like that I'll go ahead and remove my names from all that so if you guys want to take advantage of this stuff you can go ahead and use it to bring in leads in your own business uh, make some sales whatever you want to do I'll go ahead and do that for you if you want to check out card down below using my link um, if you, this video is helpful for you guys, go ahead and give me a like, make sure to subscribe and check that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Planning on doing more trainings coming up. Um, been extremely busy with some other projects going on that I'm excited about. Uh, working on something that you guys will really enjoy for expired domains. Um, this is going to help you guys get tons of traffic with expired domains. So make sure to stick around and stay tuned for that. I'm working with a developer. Uh, so we've been kind of, you know, working on that pretty hard, trying to, trying to sort things out because this will be 
uh, something that can really help you affiliates out there get tons of traffic. So make sure to stick around and, and stay tuned for that. Anyway, take care guys. Have a great uh, rest of the day or evening and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.